examples of some stoichiometry. So let's go right ahead. Hopefully you've uh, had a chance to look at some other stuff or review the previous slides. So let's just go through some problems now with the whole idea. So how many moles of oxygen are required to burn 2.4 moles of ethane gas? Let's write the balance equation and then we'll go through this whole process. Okay, so first of all, there's your balance equation. Now we're going to try to figure out what's given and what we're going to solve for. So we have 2.4 moles of C2H6 and we want to find moles of oxygen. And then we'll use the balance equation to convert. Right? And from the balance equation, you'll notice that we have 7 moles of oxygen for every 2 moles of C2H6. So there you go. All right. Now let's do another one. If you want, you can hit pause and you can try this on your own. All right, so this is adding everything in, adding uh, using mole conversions as well. All right, so hit pause and try it on your own. All right, well, we're back. Hopefully you tried it on your own. So sometimes it's useful to diagram it out. So if you look back at what we had, we're going to say we had the 500 grams. We're going to get on the mole highway here, take the mole highway to carbon dioxide, and then get off the mole highway. You can diagram it this way if you want as well. It's just another way to do the same thing. And then we'll do the math. All right, so first thing we want to do is get to moles. So we use the molar mass of C8H18. Then we're going to use the mole ratio, 16 to 2. You can do reduce the math if you want. And then we'll use the molar mass of carbon dioxide. All right, so let's do another example. So go right ahead and hit pause. I'm going to count to five. Try it on your own. And then I'm going to come back and I will go ahead and go through this process. So go ahead and hit pause. Try it on your own. All right. Did you try? We'll see how you did. All right. So first thing we need to do is write the balanced chemical equation. All right. And that's something you may need to review because it's still kind of new to you. Now we'll go ahead and go through the math. So first of all, not very helpful, write the info from each substance near that substance. I write it below. So we have 8.65 grams of sulfuric acid. We want to find molecules. Now we're going to write the units of the starting info and the answer. So first we're going to get to moles here. Go moles to moles, get out of moles. Now we're going to write the units, right? We want the answer to be in NaOH molecules because it says how many molecules. And we're going to start here. So we've really got it mapped out. So now we'll go to the next slide. First thing we do, that's what we just had. You can work it forwards or you can work it backwards. So first thing we want to do, let's get to moles. And you'll note that they cancel the grams of sulfuric acid. Okay. Then the next step, and you can pause at each step if you want. The next step is we want to get to moles of sodium hydroxide using the balanced equation. And then from moles to molecules, right? Moles to molecules, what do we use? That's right, we're going to use Avogadro's number. And then there's your answer. Make sure you have the right number of significant figures as well. 8.65 has three significant figures. All right, let's try another one. One more. Okay, so again, try it on your own. See what you can do. Hit pause. On the video. Little musical interlude. All right now I'm gonna come back. Be back. Did you try it? So first write the balance equation. Okay this one's got a little bit more to it but let's see what we have. Diagram it out. We'll put the information. We have three the grams here. Here we have this information which is a what is that? That's a density, and then we want to find the volume. So again, we're going to go up to moles, boom, and boom, like that. And now let's go ahead and go through the process. We're going to write down the units of the answer. All right, so how do we do this? We have two, two numbers here, so let's just start with what would be a good unit for the answer. And a good unit would be liters, right, because it says volume. And why did we choose liters? because we have liters right here. So you can use any volume unit unless it specifically says a volume unit. So since we're going to use liters, we're going to use this unit here, 
And so we're going to, you'll see where that's going to play in. But first thing we're going to do is get to moles. All right, next step. Now we're going to get to moles of CO2 using the balanced equation. I'll do next step here. Now, we may or may not know what to do, but we do know we want this liters here in the top, right? So now if you look, you see we have moles of CO2 here, grams of CO2 here. So what unit needs to go here? Well, we need to cancel grams. What unit needs to go down here? We need to cancel moles. And so we can put in that last step. And you see in that case, we're going to use the molar mass. So this is a stoichiometry problem with a density twist to it. All right, and again, three significant figures, three significant figures. All right, so that's a handful of examples for you, and hopefully you can go through this on your own and spend some more time with it and practice, and you should be able to do a lot of homework 10. There's a little bit more to it, but you should be getting ready to do the stoichiometry homework. And we'll stop this.